Welcome back to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya, and today we're going to play in some makeup. I've been sitting here bored watching some old reruns of All in the Family, cracking up, because that stuff would not fly um, today. And um, just wondering if I'm wrong now, knowing what I know trying to be PC all the time if I'm wrong for laughing at this stuff. I mean, Archie gave as good as he got and sometimes got more than what he gave and the character mellowed out as the, the um, seasons rolled on. But it's like a tried and true um series or show that I can watch that I know is going to make me laugh or help me that I don't mind rewatching. Now, some stuff I can't rewatch, like the Cosby show, I can't watch reruns of that. Not anything to do with Bill Cosby, but just, it's just like, that was the moment in time of my childhood and it stayed there. I might watch the odd, um, Frick Frecker. Um, what the Frick was it? A different world every once in a while I might watch the odd living single episode but I find myself not being able to watch the entire series I don't know what that's about it's like it was like this moment in time if I watch it and it becomes mundane or less funny then you know what was my childhood for or my um, older at uh, my adolescence and or my 20s um but today we're going to do something different. I have accumulated a few Pat McGrath items. Just a few. I don't have the foundation. I don't have setting powders. I don't have under eye powers. I don't have primer. <laughs> I don't have, what else you got? Mascara. Uh, well, I don't have a lot, but I have a few things, and if I wait any longer to do a video using any of the Pat McGrath stuff that I got, I'll be waiting because, um, yeah, I do want the new, um, holiday pack, uh, face palette, the one with the purple in it, the deeper tone one that has Paradise Venus in it. Which I don't need Paradise Venus because Miss Julia from Accessorize Your Life was wonderful enough to send this to me, Paradise Venus. The blush to me um, last month, which is actually today, September 30th. So this month she sent that to me. I was very happy and appreciative to receive it. But I do have a few lippies. And some minis. And a palette. So we're going to just use what I got and go from there. And I'm um, sorry everything's bouncing around. I hit the table. That happens. Um, and let's just get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is I did my brows. I overdid my brows. I cleaned my brushes. I spot cleaned them with my... Where did it go? What's in here is Cinema Secrets. This is called Felix Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. But what I did, I put my Cinema Secrets, the remaining of the Cinema Secrets, along with the Felix, in this smaller bottle because I had a big old container, like 32 ounces of Cinema Secrets. Now, it's great. It gets your brushes clean. I mean, if I would have spent a little bit more time scrubbing, I would have gotten all the... But it's stained at this point. But the thing of the matter is, this particular stuff, the Felix, the Cinema Secrets, the, um, what is the other one? Start with a P. Parent and Spirit. It, like, soaks up in the bristles really quick. Helps you, it gets a clean in there. Gets it clean, and then it dries really quick, which is why I like using it. So if you can get your hand, now Cinema Secrets has a very strong chemical vanilla smell if you can get over that then you will love the results you get from using um something like that okay so this is like um and it um 
has an antibacterial solution in it as well. So it, um, um, what does it do? What they call it? They, it, um, uh, gets rid of the bacteria in your brushes. It's a word for that. That's escaping me. First thing we're going to do is I did my brows, but they are not cooperating. So we, I left them alone because they were getting too big. Then as I was trying to adjust them, they were getting too small. So I just decided to, you know, take one from the other and give the other one half. And this is what I have left that's coming up. So the very first thing, and my eyes have stopped watering like they were. I don't know what that was about. We're going to take that Grown Alchemist again. I'm really liking this primer. I'm going to put this on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really like this primer. So much so. That I bought the full size, not for $42, but for $9 in the Ipsy um, add-ons or either the drops to um, flash sale. Here I go messing around with this dang top again. The other one has a flip top, so I don't have to try to screw anything on, so that's good. Now, what we're going to do first is um, we're going to take this. Now, this is from Thread Beauty Cosmetics, the Face It Complexion Stick in Rich Brown Warm, number 160. I did a video on Thread when it first came out. This is a sister company or baby company to the lip bar you don't hear much about it anymore it was like they sent out a lot of product to people they everybody did a video they didn't send it to me i bought it with my own money i bought this and two other items that are eluding me at the moment one was like an eye stick and one was like a lippy i think um where they are i don't know they're probably up under something but i was cleaning out a bag and ran into this foundation stick and I remember that it was a very great color for me I just haven't used it since I did that video and that was probably last when this year it had to be last year um, that I brought to you thread beauty so if you want I guess you could check my channel and and um, look for thread beauty and see what pops up I don't know what I named it, but we're going to use it with the, um, as our foundation today. Look like a good color here. All right. It doesn't have a crayon smell, so it's not bad. We're going to take one of the brushes that I cleaned off today. It's always, it's like, so as you wipe it into the towel, it helps that also take some of the moisture and it's automatically dry from that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this flat top complexion face brush and we're going to work this foundation into the skin. Now, if I remember correctly, this was a great color for me. A very good color. And I liked it. I have a mirror here. And we're blending it in. It's blending. Okay. I probably should have sprayed it to give it a little bit more slip. But... So far, so good. That's Thread Beauty. I think they're sold in Target. I'm not sure if it's even sold anymore. I haven't heard not one thing. It was like a flash in the pan type deal. But um, I remember that the color of the foundation was spot on for me. And that's rich. Rich brown warm. Thread Cosmetics. So that's a subsidiary of the Lip Bar. And you know the Lip Bar has very good products. Excuse the hair. I'm always in some state of disarray when I come on line. But you know, it's you come on and it's like we're all, well we're not all women. But 
at this point it's makeup and we don't start off how we end up and I've gotten to a place of um I got into a good place where I don't mind coming on and you seeing the the dark circles, you know, the missing eyebrows, the darkness or speckled skin or whatever. I've got to a place where I'm comfortable is the word. That's the C word. Comfortable in my skin. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to take from KVD Beauty the Lock It Finishing Powder in Deep. I don't think they have powder for um, thread. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some powder under the eye. Then we're going to go in with the same brush and brush to set brush to set the um, foundation Under that dark circles under the eye because if you leave your dark circles, what it'll do is it'll play off of your eyeshadow and make it almost non existent. I mean, the, the vibrancy of the color of the eyeshadow on your lid will kind of contrast with that darkness under the eye and it looks like it has no vibrancy or anything to it. Well, that's what I've learned from doing my um, shadows and then leaving my dark circles up under there, you know. and I typically put on heavier eye makeup because I wear glasses so it comes through from behind the glass from behind the frame. So that's enough of that. Next, we are going to take our complex culture brush, another brush that I cleaned. It has a nice vanilla scent to it. It doesn't smell like chemicals or anything. And it also um, softens the bristles of the brushes too. I am getting into this Paradise Venus. I wanted it so bad. I just couldn't break down. And, well, how much are these suckers? $38 or something. But here we are. My first and only Pat McGrath Labs blush can't wait to get it on so I'm just gonna go in with this blood brush from complex culture oh hopefully that's enough both sides oh beautiful 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 it's blushing me That's a beautiful color. I like it a lot. I knew that the Paradise and the other colors are pretty, but some are definitely too light for my skin tone. Mmm. It just makes me want to put on more and more and more and more and more. Well, I'm going to have to stop at some point. But it's beautiful. I've had reservations now. I did have reservations also about Paradise Venus. But yeah, it's not throwing up any kick up or any of that. This is a beautiful formulation. It's a beautiful color. I love the embossing in the um, blush. Thank you so much, Julia. You knew I needed it. And you sent it on, girl. You sent it on. And I appreciate it so much. That's a wonderful color. And it'll go with almost everything. Next. 
I'm going to leave my, I usually do my lips at this point, but because I don't know where I'm going with the eyeshadow, I am going to leave the lip for last. And what I have for eyeshadow is the Pat McGrath Last Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana. This was sent to me by a wonderful person off of YouTube. Thank you again. Much appreciated. And here is the palette. If I can get it open. Here's the outer part. The packaging is the same as the uh, carton packaging. And here are your colors, your color story. And let's get started. Now I have on a beautiful, like beautiful terracotta um, blush, which almost anything will go with that. But it is very warm. Move this out the way. And I guess I need to start by putting on some primer. We're gonna use Fenty. That popped out of the bag first. And I will tamp down the blush a little bit in a moment. But for me, it's perfectly fine. Some people be like, oh, that's too much blush. But for me, Never too much, never too much blush. I'm just using the um, brush that I use the finishing powder with and using that to blend and soften. Not adding any additional powder or anything like that. I have on my eye primer. Let's get into this brush situation. We always take our half cake brush we're going to go into, now do I have a, hmm, what I don't have is a transition. So I'm going to have to ditch the thought of wearing, well, you know what, bump that. We're going to take, I can't remember, Cosmic, no, that's not Eternal Navy, I'm going to have to Auburn Allure, which is this color here. We're going to take that on the brush. We're going to use that as transition. I tried a different um, style with the blue eyeshadow look that I did from Tarte Maneater. I don't think my eye is suited for that look. Per se. So we're going to keep it simple. Keep it simple. And it's a great color payoff. This is my first time ever using a Pat McGrath shadow. And I know this is her holiday collection. And most people say that the holiday collection shadows are made different with a different formulation than her motherships, but if the motherships are anything better than this, that is saying something. So we got that on. Next, we're gonna go into what is this? Cosmic Champagne. Cosmic Champagne. It's a big palette to work with here. We're going to take, as soon as I find my hourglass brush, we're going to use that. There she is, number three. We're going to go into Cosmic Champagne. Now that might be best as a inner highlight. Now I'm putting it on the lid.
on the lid for some brightness and lightness. Okay, and then we're going to take a blending brush, all over shadow blending brush, and we're going to go into Nightfall. That's going to go into our outer V and our crease. Plan is safe on my first foray into the shadows. My first foray into Pat McGrath. And I am loving my experience. The colors are just laying down. They're not muddying up. It's beautiful. I might I might have to invest in a mothership. Everyone says to start off with bronze seduction. If you don't know where to start, now that decadence is where my heart is. I want that decadence, but that's all shimmer. But I do have a few all matte palettes that I could use in conjunction with it. All right. That was simple and sweet. That is the eye look. Kept it simple, kept it sweet to the point. Next, we're going to go in. It's our eyeliner. This is a Sephora eyeliner. It's waterproof and it's in matte black. Get that line nice and dark and deep. Now we're going to put on some mascara. This is Surfer Curl from Tarte. I think it's trying to be on his last legs here. Yeah. I need a new one. This is a great mascara if you can get your hands on it. I really enjoy using it. But it has run its lifetime with me. I forget what the claims are, but it does give me volume and blackness. It reminds me of Maybelline's Lash Stiletto. So if you remember that, then this is not that far from it. I don't even know they still make Lash Stiletto. Mascara on the eyelid, on the lash, rather. Now let's get to these lips. So I have Naked Rose. Dreamscape. Lavendering. Flesh six bronze Venus, which looks kind of like naked rose, and the only one that isn't a gloss. This is her liquid lust matte lipstick in nocturnal amour. You can only see that through that little line there. So where should we go? I'm thinking I'm going to go Nocturnal more with Bronze Venus. I think that'll be 
a nice combination with this look. And it is, that's the color. Application was beautiful. No issues there. We'll give that a second to kind of dry a little bit. We'll put the other ones, put this up. This Flesh 6 is beautiful as well. So anything that I have, I got from... Now the three little minis that I showed you, I got from um, Sephora for $25. And Bronze Venus, I got... Bronze Venus and Flesh 6, I got from Boxy Charm. And... The liquid lip came in a boxy charm as well. When boxy charm was boxy charm, I don't know what they're doing, and I have since canceled both my boxies, and I only get the glam bag now. If you haven't already done so, you have October first, second, and third to get your choices in for your boxy powered by Ipsy, where you choose three of the five full size products. We're going to go into Bronze Venus now over this. And voila, we have a face. So, we've done... Everything that I have that is Pat McGrath, I'm very blown away by this lovely blush, Paradise Venus. The eyes I'm liking. The lips look and feel good. I might actually have to delve into some more Pat McGrath products. Because these have done have not done me wrong. They've done me no wrong. But you know what's about to happen now, right? Let's try a different different hair. I always put on that bob. Let's put on this hair. Let's see what happens. So this is the look. I think the hair compliments and sets everything off. And I thank you for taking time to watch me put on my very first Pat McGrath face. As much as much products as I actually had. And I appreciate you. I will see you in another video very soon. Thank you so much for coming by, watching, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to like it if you like it. And I will see you in another video soon. Stay whimsical. Let your inner whimsy shine. Bye.